Semen retention is a practice that allows a man to channel his sexual energy into other areas of his life, such as creativity, productivity, and spiritual growth. Mantak Chia, Taoist master and advocate of sexual energy cultivation. As Balzac said, there goes another novel. Woody Allen as Alvy Singer, after having sex with Annie Hall. Why would one voluntarily choose to give up one of life's greatest pleasures? Why would one choose to give up the orgasm? Why would one choose to be celibate? Many spiritual traditions suggest celibacy as a way in which to optimize one's spiritual practice. To understand why this is so, we must first understand what is spiritual practice in its essence. If one is to make a commitment to celibacy, they must first become very clear on exactly why they are making that commitment. First, we must come to the understanding that existence is fundamentally unsatisfying. That while we may achieve some level of satisfaction, it is always temporary and not lasting. Second, we must come to the understanding that our greatest wish is to be happy, not temporarily happy, but eternally happy. It has been suggested by many spiritual masters, sages, saints, and gurus that the way to do this is to completely release all desire-motivated action and instead use this freed energy for an unceasing inquiry into the nature of self. For it is the self that stands prior to existence and thus free from it. It is the self that remains unaffected by life's ups and downs. It is the self that one ultimately recognizes as happiness itself. Thus, the essence of spiritual practice is to turn attention to its source. There's an old Zen story that goes like this. A Zen student said to Master Ichu, Please write for me something of great wisdom. Master Ichu picked up his brush and wrote one word. Attention. The student said, Is that all? The master wrote, Attention. Attention. The student became irritable. That doesn't seem profound or subtle to me. In response, Master Ichu wrote simply, Attention. 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 In frustration, the student demanded, What does this word attention mean? Master Ichu replied, Attention means attention. The great Indian sage Ramana Maharshi was once asked if he could summarize his teaching in one word. He also replied, Attention. Attention to what? Attention to the source of attention. The source of attention, often called the self, is where freedom and happiness inherently lie. This is not something to be believed, however. This is something one discovers for themselves. Commonly, our attention is captured by the appearance of the world. Most generally, we can say that it is held fast by three areas of functional desiring, money, food, and sex. We could also say that among these three areas, it is sex that for many has the tightest grip on attention. Therefore, if attention is freed from the realm of sex, this often translates into a great deal of attention being freed, attention that can then be turned to its source. So far, this understanding of freeing attention from the realm of sex and turning it to its source applies, of course, to both males and females. It is fairly simple to understand how this might assist both males and females in their spiritual practice of turning attention to its source. However, in this video, we will focus on the ways in which males can achieve yogic and bodily regeneration through semen retention. This yogic regeneration, while not absolutely necessary to spiritual practice, can provide a very helpful optimum physical platform that can greatly assist one in their spiritual practice. The practice of turning attention to its source. Semen retention is a very ancient practice. For centuries this has been a practice that utilizes the manipulation and circulation of sexual energy. At the core of almost all human endeavor lies the subconscious desire for successful procreation. This makes sexual energy not only a powerful source for vitality, but for creativity as well. This open secret has been known and practiced for millennia by both spiritual and secular practitioners who have recognized its incredible transformative potential. The wisdom found in ancient Taoist and Tantric texts also point to the immense significance of controlling sexual energy. They teach the extraordinary capacity to channel this potent resource 
towards unparalleled success. Success not only in the professional, creative, and personal, but also in deep spiritual attainment. The great practical benefits of semen retention are in its physiological effects. Retaining one's semen nourishes the brain with phosphorus and zinc, amplifying creativity, clarity of thought, and problem-solving skills. Testosterone levels also increase building muscle, confidence, and even enhancing one's attractiveness. This video will discuss the practical benefits of semen retention, also on how it might assist one in their spiritual practice. By the end of the video, we will offer a step-by-step -step program for the practice of semen retention and a guide on how to avoid or stop masturbation. In Chinese Taoist philosophy, semen contains a life essence known as Jing. It is Jing, which not only nourishes the body, but also is the link between the physical and spiritual realms. In Indian spiritual traditions like Tantra and Ayurveda, the preservation of semen aligns with conserving vital energy. This enhances both bodily health and one's progress to spiritual enlightenment. In all these spiritual traditions, it is suggested that the abstaining from ejaculation enables the redirection of sexual energy. By redirecting this energy correctly, one can cultivate elevated states of consciousness. This can often lead practitioners to greater mental clarity, emotional equilibrium, and a deeper connection to spiritual dimensions. In traditional Chinese medicine, this life force is termed qi. Hindu texts refer to it as prana. Qi and prana, though rooted in the subtle body, are also significant for the physical body too. Both these terms are very close correlates to the breath. The idea being that energy is ingested through the breath. However, the further spiritual implications of qi and prana are profound. Semen retention is not only closely related to the concepts of qi and prana, but also to the Hindu-derived chakra system. The chakra system is a foundational aspect of Hinduism and Tantra. It understands the human body as an energetic system. That system comprises seven main energy centers, or chakras, aligned along the spine. Each chakra is associated with specific physical, emotional, and spiritual attributes, representing various aspects of human consciousness and existence. Starting from the root chakra at the base of the spine and ascending to the crown chakra at the top of the head. It is these energy centers, chakras, that are said to regulate the flow of life force, the prana or chi. In many spiritual traditions, it is taught that the balanced and unobstructed circulation of energy through the chakras is necessary for spiritual enlightenment. Semen retention, or the building of unreleased sexual energy, activates the root chakra. By abstaining from ejaculation, one harnesses and accumulates energy in the root chakra. From the root chakra, this energy, known as kundalini energy, moves naturally and effortlessly through all the chakras. This sexual energy, redirected from physical release, can now make its way to higher energy centers, more subtle and spiritualized chakras. This circulation and transmutation of energy through the chakras is said to facilitate not only spiritual growth, but also personal growth. These benefits include increased clarity, heightened intuition, and a deeper connection to higher states of consciousness. This redirected sexual energy can also have real creative and transformative potential. Individuals may find that they find increased inspiration, creativity, and a deeper connection to their life's purpose. These are all qualities recognized by many with the harmonious flow of life force through the chakras. This movement of sexual or life force energy through the chakras can even exceed these benefits. In fact, the activation of the root chakra and the coincident awakening of kundalini energy can eventually lead to an ascension through all the chakras culminating in the crown chakra. As it reaches the crown chakra, a divine merging occurs, a realization of a profound oneness with the universe. In other words, enlightenment. Thus, the simple act, though sometimes extremely difficult, of semen retention can initiate a journey that moves through breath, energy circulation, 
and bodily transformation. A self-evolution that culminates not only in spiritual enlightenment, but also in a personal creative vitality. In the West, the practice of semen retention finds its roots in the ancient principle of transmutation. This was a concept originating from the alchemical schools of thought during the Hellenistic period. A period spanning from the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC to the rise of the Roman Empire around 31 BC. During this period, Greek philosophers deeply examined the mysteries of the Egyptian schools of thought. This gave rise to the amalgamation of Greek and Egyptian philosophies known as alchemy. Hermeticism, a philosophy developed from this fusion, documented the principles of alchemy. These principles were outlined in the Emerald Tablet. The Emerald Tablet was an ancient text of mystical teachings regarding the nature of reality. One of the principles found in the Emerald Tablet was the principle of transmutation. This was the concept of how one substance might be transmuted into another. Processes of transmutation could also be discovered within the human body. Pythagoras, a pre-Socratic Greek philosopher, believed that semen held vast alchemical properties. He believed that by conserving this vital fluid, rather than expending it wastefully, it was transmuted into expansive creative energy. Throughout history, many philosophers, successful individuals, leading thinkers and creatives, including Aristotle, Plato, Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton and Beethoven have all practiced semen retention. They all subscribed to Pythagoras's notion of transmuting semen into creative force. They believed that the creative life force within semen could be harnessed for applications well beyond its reproductive and pleasurable purposes. There is a scientific basis to what Pythagoras and the ancient alchemists believed. This can be found in the relationship between semen and the brain. The intricate connection between the brain and semen lies in the presence of chemicals like sodium, magnesium, lecithin, and notably, phosphorus. The etymology of phosphorus means light bringer. This aligns with its fiery reaction as it stimulates the nervous system and serves as a vital component of both DNA and genetic material. By conserving semen rich in phosphorus, individuals retain the potential for generating fiery creative energy in the brain. Semen retention also triggers another fascinating response in the brain. The brain recognizing the absence of ejaculations will work to enhance mating potential. What does this mean? It means that the retained energy will be redirected by the brain into developing various creative abilities to make one more attractive to a mate. Even in celibacy, the brain remains committed to the evolutionary drive for reproduction. This prompts the brain to enhance mating potential leading to improvements in various aspects of an individual. This subconscious guidance can often initiate fierce motivation, drive, and the ability to take effective action. Scientific studies indicate that traditional success patterns often emerge in a male's 40s or 50s. This is simply because men at that age tend to shift their focus away from sexual pursuits and redirect that energy towards other areas of life. Perhaps the best evidence for this is the testimonials of successful men in various professions. They often express the great help and transformative power of refocusing sexual energy. Their experiences highlight the profound impact semen retention can have on unlocking potential, achieving success, and realizing one's full capabilities. The many benefits of semen retention are exceedingly obvious. However, as good as it all sounds, it can be extremely difficult to avoid ejaculation and orgasm, especially in the form of masturbation. In 2011, in response to this, the no-fap movement was born. The humorous slang term, fapping, represents the sound of masturbating. The no-fap movement extends beyond merely abstaining from self-pleasure. It also includes a commitment to refrain from watching pornography. The advantages attributed to NoFap 
closely mirror those associated with semen retention. NoFap suggests what it calls hard mode, which prescribes strict rules to help one avoid ejaculation and to retain one's semen. NoFap's hard mode has five rules. They are 1. No porn or erotic images. 2. No masturbation or orgasm, even without porn. 3. No sex. 4. No lusting. 5. Follow these rules for at least 90 days. Practicing these rules for a minimum of 90 days can be very challenging. However, they can serve as an excellent foundation for reaping the rewards of semen retention much more rapidly. It is important to note, however, that none of these practices should be motivated by feelings of shame or guilt. Rather, abstention from masturbation should be practiced as a personal choice based on the benefits it provides, rather than as a response to societal or personal stigmas. Embarking on a journey of semen retention parallels the challenge of launching a rocket into space. To propel a rocket beyond Earth's gravitational pull, copious amounts of energy are imperative. This energy acts as fuel, facilitating the escape from gravity and achieving escape velocity. However, once in the upper atmosphere or orbit, the journey becomes smoother. The analogy to semen retention lies in understanding the nature of this essential energy. Contrary to common misconceptions, the fuel for semen retention isn't merely rooted in willpower, determination, or punitive feelings like guilt and shame for past actions. Rather, it comprises two fundamental elements, conviction and the willingness to confront the discomfort accompanying the cessation of compulsive habits. Establishing conviction involves clarifying the reasons behind the pursuit of semen retention. The initial days of semen retention might present intense, almost overwhelming sensations of arousal, akin to a rocket ready to launch. However, recognizing this discomfort as a temporary and necessary part of the journey is pivotal. Embracing discomfort as a positive sign facilitates transmutation and eventual relief. In essence, Semen retention mirrors the process of launching a rocket into space. The initial days pose the greatest challenge, requiring escape velocity, which arises from the synergy of conviction and the acceptance of temporary discomfort. Once this energetic escape is achieved, the journey unfolds with a host of expansive benefits utterly unique to semen retention. This perspective provides insight into the transformative power of enduring the initial discomfort for the profound rewards that await on the path of semen retention. Shivoham, Shivoham,